Okay, welcome to the stream. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, more progress. I'm gonna do some Isaac. Isaac runs, get the last of his marks. Make him the first character that I do everything on, so... The base was certainly an interesting thing. Just, uh... I mean, I don't technically fight it. <laughs> but, it got done. I have... I have knowledge of it now. So, yeah. Beard. Yeah, this is a bit of a bonus stream since I was going to do stuff today, but plans fell through, so everything else is taken care of. I didn't have any errands to do or anything, so I've just been kicking back today. Okay. I gotta remember that I'm trying to make hush timing here. I guess alternate path is like if I'm feeling confident. Okay, there's some decent stuff in here. It, it might be worth taking out the loan. We'll see. Hmm. I don't know if I can get six coins out of it. That's the problem. is on my side! Nice. Okay, now I just gotta not take a hit on the next floor and we're good. suck. Ah. Thought maybe I could get something for free out of it. Decent start, given what I got him.
Okay. I mean, that's gonna work a lot of the time. That's just a boomerang who cares. Okay. I'm just gonna go do this right away. that there for a sec. Okay, so 50-50 chance. It's the razor blade. I mean, that's fine. I'll just grab it. Don't care. It doesn't count as a devil deal. At least I don't think so. Hold up a sec. How's it going, dude? How's things? Uh, I'm doing alright, just kind of kicking back. It's Sunday. that then. Just got home from playing magic at a friend's place. Nice. Must have been fun. How have things been? Feel like it's been ages since uh, we've talked. Hang on, I'm just gonna reply to my brother or something. Uh, I mean, eh. I'm not really going off the guppy, so I'll just go with this. Easy. Um, I do have the damage for this. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. One some, lost some was fun all around. It's been well overall. Being on a whole different schedule makes it harder to catch stream times. Yeah, I know. It's the reality of uh, being on the opposite side of the world, right? Lately, I've just been doing evening streaming as well. I haven't really had time to do stuff during the day.
Oh, it's that thing. I'm pretty sure this increases the odds of the uh, planetarium thingies. I was asking if I want to go see a movie, but I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit like last minute. I guess that's the other thing is like when it's winter, for me, it's just the time zone lines up less. Like typically summer is, is the better time. It doesn't get as late quickly. Because during winter when I'm like finishing up work, it's pretty late for most Americans. I feel like that's gonna fuck me over. No, don't do that. Soy milk? No, that's counterintuitive to what I'm trying to do. Okay, uh, take right then. Alright, I tried. Okay, um, I can get a compass for free, which is probably a good idea. I'm gonna go fight first, and then we'll see. I hate this curse so much. Yeah, I probably won't be able to get the devil deal here. Unless I... Okay, no, 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 I did it, I did it. No, I did it! Ah, oh, fucking darkness. Damn it. Okay, well. Buy the pill, and then this is guaranteed. There we go. That's not good. Okay, hold off for a sec. Nice. <laughs> Love it, get it for free. Wait, what? Oh, oh no. That's a lot of anti-fun, jeez. Nice. Thank you. Um. Huh. I I don't think it's set. It stacks. Everything in the alternate path have to be so annoying. I 
I think it is stacking. Because one is double reward. One is double reward, and the other one is doubling up the stack. Looks like I think it is. Alright, anyway. I don't think I'm going to be greedy with this. Although, the boss isn't hard if I bomb the boss. I miss a monitor I used to have. There was a monitor that had a physical button on the side of it that would... Ugh, oh, damn it. That would turn on... Wait, how does that... Hang on. This is another one of these changes they've done to make the game harder, but it's annoying. I was like, I was playing as the Lost. I have flight. Why did I get affected by a ground effect? And then I thought about it. And I'm like, nah, you know what? This is probably another one of these, oh, geez, you know what would be great to make the game harder? It's like how rocks don't count as explosions anymore, so if you get hit by, like, a... a rock-type attack... If you have explosion immunity, and that doesn't protect you anymore. Mm. Unless there's some sort of projectile as well that I didn't see. It was kind of hard to tell. Proximity. <sighs> Come on. Wait, it didn't do the toxic thing? Why not? I thought it was every first enemy you kill in every room. It does it. Unless this is another one of these chain. Oh my god. Nah, see, it's stuff that the boss spawns isn't a standard enemy, so it shouldn't be allowed to go off. Item wasn't even that overpowered to begin with. <laughs> like it didn't really do much to a boss.
Sure, why not? I kind of wish luck had influence on the kind of rooms you get. Maybe it does, but I mean it in the sense of like, imagine if you had a high luck stat. And that would mean that it reduces the odds of getting like an obnoxious enemy type or an elite. Or a room layout that's just annoying. Like, that would be cool. It is a form of luck. Oh, yeah, I don't have a key. Shit. Okay. Well, I mean... I feel less bad about that, since planetarium is a thing. This is gonna be pure luck if I get the timing right and it kills it, and it spreads the chain reaction. Yes! Okay, there we go. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go check the other room now. Just see. I might be able to get something out of this. Hmm. Oh well. Just do that and we're good. It should be okay. It's standard path anyway. I'm not gonna... I think I can make hush timing since I got contagion. the item is good or I get a planetarium, I don't know. Ah! Uh.
Uh, let me run back for a bit. I already feel like giving this one up. Yeah, fuck it. <sighs> I think it's... Oh, okay. Okay. This is interesting. This could potentially get me to hush. I mean, it, it does have its risks, but in terms of getting through stuff quickly... Okay, there we go. I can get most of this, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Nice. So I get more options. If I can get any form of explosion immunity, this will be great. for the host hat or pyromaniac assuming they haven't changed it <laughs> which I guess you can never rule out Definitely not an alternate path run, because there's too many aggressive enemies, it just makes this a liability. So far, so good. Oh my god, come on. Guess this, right? It's nice to be able to get a soul heart easily. Can I even do this? Okay, there we go. Then just move it here. Nice, 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 nice. This 
a little risky, but I'll, I'll do it. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a prayer card. I have a way to generate health. Now I just need something like a car battery and then... Ridiculous. Hit it a couple more times. Oh, I'll take the double card as well. Okay. I just realized what I can do here too. Assuming it all works out, I gotta keep in mind time is uh, probably something I should be keeping an eye on here. Okay, that's a good trade. Now, do this. too deep now. Okay, huh, that's better. Okay, fair with. Got it. Okay. Now... Oh, I'm not done yet. Same calculated gamble. Okay, careful. Should be enough to get me another charge. I don't think I need to... I could do it one more time. If I finish this floor up just to get another one. baby would have been cool, but it is what it is. <laughs> I mean. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, I didn't go in this, this room, did I? Uh, I don't have a key to open that other thing. I'll throw one more in and see what we get. I guess it doesn't hurt. No, nah, okay. Well, the only other thing I can do is... 
and this is, again, risking it. <laughs> Got it. Alright. We're good. Maximum use of this thing. I don't care if I get another item now. I maximized the use of that card. Jeez. So cool, like this already works. Shit, this is like a setup for a devil run. Oh well. Doesn't matter too much. Track the beam's not gonna do much here, this is fine. Yeah, I mean, I, Red Crown. I'm not really- I'm not really taking advantage of the Red Crown stats, to be honest, like, it's a bit of moot. Might swap it out for the pill generator because we have the luck foot. Positive pills, so why not? Unfortunately, another basic start. Where the fuck is this other room? Okay. Screw it. Uh, yeah, take this since everything can be positive. I said positive! <laughs> That's not positive. It's neutral, I guess. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think that matters too much here. Pretty good. I guess get this one. Becomes a game of accuracy. I can see forever. Hey, thank you. Ah, oh, you asshole. I don't think it counted. It didn't take my angel room chance. Wait, how- I feel like I shouldn't grab this. That is a very morbid curiosity, like what happens if I have this plus sword? Does it make it an explosive sword? I don't think it does. I feel like that's a very stupid thing to want to find out right now. Or does it keep the damage but then Should you look it up? Yeah, I mean, it's an, it's an interesting thought. It's like, it, one of three things is gonna happen. One, the sword will do explosions when I do melee swings, which is horrible. Two, the sword will do explosions when it does the, uh... When you're on full health and you fire a beam shot. Three, the sword will gain the damage, but not do explosions. Or, I guess the last possibility is it, it does fucking nothing and you lose- I lose the explosions. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can pick something up. Okay, according to this, Ipecacan's spirit sort of dangerous. Let's see. I want to see, I want to see. There's a run here that has it, I want to see the interaction. Okay, so the dude has sword, hasn't picked up Ipecac yet. Still has sword, no Ipecac. I got the feeling that this is something I shouldn't get. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now I can see it. What does it do? Okay, hold up. Oh, you got a reset key. Okay, so he has sword and Ipecac. Sorry, I'm just watching this.
the fuck? I can't, I can't tell. He's not swinging anymore. I can't tell what he's doing. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay. There it is. Sword beams are exploding shots. Does not apply to epic caps plus 40 damage. Yeah. See, I just saw what was happening. The, the reason the guy wasn't taking swings is because it's really fucking dangerous. So, no. <laughs> I am right in taking caution with this. It's probably not the best idea. Watch me get explosion immunity now. And make it something that I wish I picked up. I don't know, that sword is a little disappointing. Not everything synergizes with it in an interesting way. Do this? Hang on, I have enough bombs. Bombs aren't really useful here. Okay, well. What is this one? Okay. The, uh. <laughs> so, I'm still generating health, despite not having the card anymore. Sure, since I'm here. Cool. Okay, damage up. But I think it matters at this point. be a bit dangerous as well. Uh, this is useful. Let's go through spike doors. it again.
I probably should have searched for the shop, but eh. Oh wow, planetarium. Pluto. I love these rooms, they're so cool looking. And the music as well, isn't it? much new stuff you haven't seen since last. Yeah, you should have seen the ending I got yesterday. That was something. Which I guess is the final path. I like the content. It's just, I think my issue with this is just the balancing choices. Um... I guess. The fool. Uh, car battery and this. And this. I'm just gonna. Good enough. Hey, nice, it skewed the angel chance. I don't know if this is a hush fighting build necessarily. Eh, I mean. Just take the negative. Ooh. What would I even take here? The thing is, I guess shield if I'm gonna fight harsh. Smite's not really gonna do anything. Neither is the top left. I mean, okay, a little bit more damage up. I think this is the best option given what I want to try and do. I'm thinking about what I'm trying to achieve. I, you know what, with shield, this is pretty legit, like my character's tiny has a very small hitbox. So being able to block most of, uh... No, you know what? This is a hush fighting build, now that I look at it. Small hitbox. Of course it's a hush fighting build. this is the beauty of it as well I can I can rush through this uh, I don't know if I should I mean okay I guess as long as there's one soul heart it's fine
sec. Um, you know, I guess this is not bad. The pill thing didn't really give me any full health pills, so... I'm gonna opt for flight, just... ...to make things easier. Oh shit. Where am I? Okay, I see where I am. Time do I have left? Okay, three minutes. We're good. We're good. What the fuck was that? What was that? What was that path? This game is so weird and so gross. Yeah, that's the style of the guy that makes it. It's always in that realm of things. But it's fun. I mean, this whole thing is a commentary on, like, uh, super religious upbringings. Oh, for fuck's sake. You've always enjoyed watching me play, but it's just so odd. Yeah. Ooh, is that? Um, hmm. If I'm really careful with this, this is legit. If I'm not, it's gonna fuck me over. Um. I lost my train of thought, but yeah, I mean, I I enjoy this just replay value and the different builds you can do. And sometimes you have to think about the items you pick up, and it's cool. And I, as someone that did kind of grow up in a little bit of a environment where people were a bit religious, not to the extreme of like, um, what the creator did, I can appreciate some of the themes. I don't want to say, like, not ex American extreme religious <laughs> upbringings, but, yeah, I mean. How's it going anyway, Amy? How's things? Wait, so can I just do- I'm pretty sure I don't need to dodge. Yeah, okay. This works. It goes just hanging out, how am I? Doing okay. Just... Lazing about. Uh, supposed to go hang out with my brothers today, but one of them has COVID, so... I got cancelled. So here I am, just playing games instead. 
I've been watching uh, Better Call Saul since that's over now, and I've, I've just started watching it. Enjoying it so far. Nearly through the first season. And, uh... On Discord we've been watching... G -g -g Nathan for you, which... I wanted to watch, uh... His new show, but... Unfortunately it's not on a subscription service I want to support. You still want need to watch Breaking Bad, you've never seen it? Oh, Breaking Bad's great. It's one of those things that you need to give it a go. Um, the first season is a bit slow. It's funny because I... I watched almost the first season of Better Call Saul, but then I kind of fell off with it. But no, Breaking Bad is good. It's been a while since I've seen it. And if you're into weird comedy and sense of humor and people being awkward, uh, any of Nathan Fielder's shows are great. Nathan for you specifically is just like he's trying to help small businesses, but obviously it, he has horrible plans and it's just it's awkward and comedic. I've never seen anyone as good as deadpan as him. Okay, and I got that done. So now, free choice as to what I do, but the rest of the run doesn't matter. So I guess let's go... Hang on, let me get this instead. A good friend brought you Cult of the Lamb. Well, that's nice. I just finished that up uh, yesterday. It's a good little game. Albeit a bit buggy, or at least I found a lot of bugs. I'm not sure which, which is the case. So. It's enjoyable. Hopefully they'll add more content to it in future. I do have that passive ability, that is true, but... I wish I would've gotten into the town building stuff, but I mean, you saw. <laughs> it just... It wasn't meant to be. I was gonna do nice... ...parving and, you know, place buildings... ...all neatly, but then... ...yeah. I mean, nothing I could do. My map was fucked. Irreversibly fucked, apparently. I don't know. I need to do something like Stardew or Animal Crossing again. I've been feeling the need. I do have Animal Crossing on the 3DS as, like, a potential thing, but... I've always heard that that's uh, more in-depth than New Horizons. Multiplayer Stardew? I don't know. That's the thing. I wanted to do more Terraria as well, but that's got a major patch coming, so it's, like... Best to wait it out. I'm not really sure. Um, I already have flight. Does this affect my Ipecac? That's the question. Nah, doesn't look like it. I haven't really decided what to do. The 
issue with doing multiplayer starter is like... I guess just having a schedule with someone. It's a, it's a difficult thing. We 100% don't have schedules that line up. I mean, if I made more of an effort on the weekend, do it. It's just... Lately my weekends haven't exactly been free in the morning. But it's not just that, it's like just doing it on a regular basis, otherwise you kind of fall off from it. This was mm, probably not a good idea. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fuck. I need to end this. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was that was a mistake on my part. I shouldn't have picked that item up. I've added this layer of, like, every now and then it's going to fire a shot that's going to hit me. I don't know, I'll figure something out. I just, I've been in the mood for doing something that's a little more laid back. Just call to the lamb wasn't long enough, and the aspects of building I couldn't do to the extent that I wanted. Okay, that'll help. I mean, I would definitely love to play games on stream with people, but like. Uh, no. There we go. I'm just gonna end the run. I got my completion mark, I'm happy. Okay, so now only the alternate path remains. But yeah, I guess for me, like, the biggest thing is keeping up a routine and being able to do it on a regular basis, which I know is, is an ask, so... I don't know, I just feel kind of bad starting stuff and then not <laughs> finishing it. That might be a little bit of a, like, overthought. Touch me, no.
see, this is gonna be a bit of an issue because... What I have left to do, it's kind of like, for me to succeed in it. I'll know pretty much immediately if, if I'm capable of doing that path. So it's like, am I really going to just reset it if I feel like this isn't going well enough? Hey. you can commit. Don't have a lot going on at the moment. I mean, fair. I'll give it some thought. For fuck's sake. Yeah, okay. This, this is a bag of dicks. These spiders, they don't usually appear on the first floor, so... Unlucky to get one room, but two room? No. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of doing something, like, along those lines once I'm done with Yakuza 4. Which I kind of put on the back burner for a bit, just because it's been... It's been busy. And sometimes at the end of my work there, I just don't feel like reading. Okay, reading and sort of doing different voices, which, eh. I don't have to do it, but I feel like if I've started it... I should c continue it, so to speak. I think I'm almost at the end of that game anyway. It doesn't seem like it's long, so... I also learned the other day that Mark Hamill voiced Majima, like what the fuck? Health up. I mean in the English dub. I'm kind of curious how he sounds like doing his voice. Yeah, 
I, I kind of tripped out as well. I was like, what the fuck? Mark Hamill? It kind of makes sense. He did voice the Joker in another game. So I can totally see it. But, yeah. Oh, what have I done? I've already fucked this up. No, no, have I? Yes, I have. I didn't go to the, down the alternate path. But, I mean, I didn't think this was going to get me a win anyway, so let's just reset it. I think the only other thing I want to check out that's coming out, I can't remember if it's next month or the month after, but there is a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game that I want to check out. I think it's falling in line with like the continuation on Netflix from Memories. But other than that, I don't really have another game plan, so I was gonna... Hopefully either A, Terraria would be out, the new patch, and then I could do like a, a run of that. I don't know what that would look like. Or just pick a chill game to do for a bit. Eh, fuck. That's like tentative plans, I guess. That was stupid. <laughs> yeah, back into a corner that they, they can shoot you in. Nice job. So, if Mark Hamill was Majima, there's a, there's a scene with Mark Hamill talking to uh, Walking Erection. Which kind of morbidly curious as to how that sounds or plays out. I mean, that's the game he voiced him in, so that there is dialogue where he's talking to that character. Oh yeah, right. <sighs> Got that that garbage. It sounds like a weird sentence to say, but the context is there's a character who, before you learn his real name, um, they call him Walking Erection. I also learned that if I would have continued. If I would have continued the real estate minigame, apparently you can get a chicken to manage your real estate. That's like the reward later on is you can recruit a, a highly intelligent rooster to run your business. Like what? You remember walking direction? Oh, I know you would. I'm just saying for anyone that may wonder what the fuck, what are you talking about walking direction?
And now, now I'm thinking about one of the episodes of Nathan for you that I watched last night. So, Nathan tries to help out a hotel to get more business, and his business plan is when families go on vacation, um, the one thing that couples hate is that they can't really have sex because their children are in close proximity. So Nathan builds a soundproof chamber to put a child into in the bedroom that doesn't let sex noises in. And you know, he decks it out. Proper soundproofing makes it look like a NASA space shuttle. So the kid has like some semblance of imagination, but the whole premise is just fucking absurd. And where does walking erection fit into this? Well, the way he stress tests it is he hires a bunch of adult film stars to have sex. And, uh, yeah. Lock up. That's, that's it. That's the stress test. This can potentially improve, but right now this is not a winning run, I don't think, anyway. Fuck you. See what this is. Two of clubs. That's hell. I really don't like getting this right away. Um, not really. If I would have gotten like another guppy piece, I would have gone for it. Okay. Well, we gotta try. Yeah, okay, this is not gonna work. <laughs> okay, no, no, change of... No, okay, this might work now. Okay. Damage reduction is like the most important thing in completing this run, so okay, cool. I might actually succeed now. I just need to get damage. Hopefully. Stop it!
Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go in here. Pill bottle, huh? Get. That's where I'm supposed to go. Uh, okay, I need to find the mirror. Oh shit. Uh mm. I don't have damage at the moment. That's the, the problem I have. This would help it, but then I'm kinda relegated to devil deals, which Alright, fuck it. I'll take the risk. Like, I guess I'm gonna die if I don't have damage anyway, so... Can I do this as... I don't think I can. I think this is... Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, I can't. That was a dumb risk, but whatever. It worked. Oh my god, I, f I hate these enemies. Okay, still alive. So all good. Ah, oh, you. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's a knife piece. I think I will take the risk and go fight the boss again. I'll just use bombs to brute force my way through it.
Oh my god, I pushed it out of the way. Just do this. Two bombs. Got ya. Okay. Uh, alright, whatever. It's health. I'm doing devil deals. That'll come in handy. Wait, which way is it? This way. There we go. I mean, it's looking good, it's just... I gotta try not to lose health, I guess. Um, I should probably do this and get stuff from here. Yep. Good call. I mean, this means that just for seven I can make this floor, like, just trivial. Okay, don't use it in here. Use it here. There we go. No, fuck! Ah! It's not... <laughs> fuck. I didn't think that through. Alright, whatever. I'm an idiot. Like, oh yeah, just walk back into the room that you don't want the bomb to go off in to collect the item. My heart was in the right place, just poor execution. Acid shot. Mm. I'll take the acid shot. Okay, that'll be useful at the end, hopefully. Thank you. There's nothing. Oh no, that did nothing. Wait, yes it did. No, it's fine. Minecraft. All these new bosses are so weird. What? Oh my god. Ah! Alright, whatever. I lost a lot of health. 
Uh, neither of those are worth it. Okay. You're currently playing Minecraft? Oh, okay. I mean, I tried the game, it's just... I prefer Terraria a lot more. I think in the context of playing by yourself, I don't know, I enjoy Terraria more. I can see how Minecraft would be a lot of fun playing as a group. But... Yeah, I tried it. It was pretty funny, a lot of people wanted me to play it. I played it, and then... It was like, probably the most quiet streams I've had. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, this is, this is a tough choice now. Because this would let me unlock another character, but... I don't know, I feel like the completion mark is more important than another character. Mind you, if I'm not feeling ultra confident, I can just do that. I guess I, I should keep it as like a plan B, like if I'm really thinking that this isn't gonna go any further. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I mean, I guess the thing is, for me, I haven't gone far enough into it. I'll do this, I'll give this up in hopes of getting more health. Yeah, that works. Alright. Mmm, these aren't... Yeah, no, these aren't run-winning items. I might... Might have to switch tactic here. But then again, I would have to be able to make the climb as well, so it's like, ugh. I think I, the thing that put me off the most about it was the whole how do you find diamond thing. It's like, it's not something that's intuitive, so to speak. It's information that I was told about. And... Had that not happened, that's not something I would have discovered naturally. And it would have been something where I would have been digging around for ages, not knowing how to progress. Which is a bit strange. And there's still the chance if you get a shitty seed, you won't find them. Yeah. Which, that's the part that I, I couldn't get my head around. I was like, wait, what? Whereas in a Terraria, like, if you go down a cave or something, you always find something meaningful. Even if it's not tied to progression, going into a cave, you'll find, like, a treasure chest or some weapon or something. Minecraft just didn't feel that way. It just felt like... I mean, at the time I played it, maybe that's not the case now. It just felt... Okay, cool, you can explore a cave, but why? Interesting. Ah, uh, it's just double room shit. I don't know if I'll survive it without taking damage. I mean, don't get me wrong, Terraria definitely has stuff that, um, you check the wiki to figure out what to do. I'm not saying it's immune to that, but... I, I can't really think of a scenario where, like, you're clueless. Like, you'll find stuff and then that'll pique your interest in what does this do and how do you get it to work. 
versus, hmm, there's this material that I'm unaware of that it exists, and it only exists at a particular depth, and this information you can only ascertain by turning on the developer console and seeing what depth you're at, which... I don't know, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, confidence in this is not high. They have an option to turn on the cord and that's what makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they've improved the process, but... I guess I'm saying in my experience, at the time I played it, that's what I experienced and wasn't great. So wait a minute, if I'm if I'm reading this map correctly. Okay, so hold on. Let me look at this. The treasure room is one south and then one east. So if I'm following logic here, shouldn't the treasure room be one north? It's like if I put it here, is this going to be hang on. I want to see how this works. Okay, it doesn't work. Hmm. Because that room is identical to the other one. There's a way to read this map, I'm just not quite sure how. Alright, at any rate. It's a really strange item, it's cool, but... Okay, good. That'll help a lot. Uh, I mean... I think in this run, I'm better off unlocking a character. Instead of going for... The alternate path boss. I just don't... I don't think I have the damage output for it. And it's just going to get more annoying. I have to sacrifice two health to even get in there. So it would leave me on one hit. Which would make the run very likely to end. Alright, I'll go for a character unlock. The, uh, Evangelist path. <laughs> that was a very, very cool, uh, ending. I just can't believe the, the sort of the culture shock again of hearing that that kind of TV exists. Wait, so how does this work? Maybe I should read up on how traversing this, like, alternate map works. Uh. Shit. Physics. Oh, I think I can pick it up. Uh. Damn it. Okay, but... Yeah, fucking hell. These items are definitely not run winning items. I mean, I'm trying to figure it out on my own. Like, I thought for a sec that it. For every room on this map, that room exists in this world. Uh. 
okay. Let it go. Oh shit. That's so that leads to the normal treasure room. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Oh, okay, it's just the icon. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm onto nothing here. I don't know. I need to find the card as well before I wrap this up. I mean, go for it. Later. Uh, let's go through here. What the fuck? Okay, apparently I found something. Whoa! Uh, okay. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck is this item? This is cool. I mean, I'm keeping this, right? Wow. Okay. Um... So hold, hold up, how does this work? Okay, I think I see it. Maybe. It's like you look at where that piece can fit on the regular map. If I'm reading this correctly, if we see the T-shape there where the treasure room is, that same T-shape exists there. Yeah, so this would lead to the room next to it. Okay, I think I understand how it works now. What a weird item this one is, but it's cool. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's not really going to do much, is it? I need to find my escape card. There it is. Okay, we're good. Thank you. I honestly don't care if I win, it's just as long as I unlock the character. As cool as this is, it's not really doing a hell of a lot of damage. This for damage. 
teleport out. Okay. And then just hope I have enough to get through this. This way, yep. And then up and across. Okay, I have one floor to survive, and then we're good. This isn't guaranteed, but it's looking good. I'm gonna see if I can figure out the map. Oh fuck these things! Oh, you assholes. Uh, please help. Not quite what I wanted. Um. Okay, that'll help. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, this room sucks. Yeah, fuck this, I'm using a bomb. I'm not completing this room normally. Fuck the treasure room, let's just go. Okay. Oh, I'll get it here anyway. Yep, Jacob's Ladder, thank you. Okay, game is being, being very, very nice to me right now. This is another one of these super elites. Thank you, Acid Tears. Okay, nice. We got a heart. Wait. Oh, 
Holy crap. Stay in the corner. Oh, what? It even hit me. Okay. Hey, I'm hanging on to that. Okay, this effectively gives me like 1.5 health. So if you leave items behind in boss rooms, they remain, so that's an interesting strat. Oh, this thing. I just want my character unlock. I don't care if I finish this. I've already finished this. Or at least on this character. Okay, that's a very good thing to get. <laughs> oh shit. Careful. There we go. I don't have damage. This, these things should not be taking that long to kill, or whatever. Okay. This will be good practice for when I have to do this with other characters. Oh, wow. Um, oh shit, the dunce thing would be useful. But I don't know how you would get that, like... It's weird that this room exists, like, I'm not sure how you get that other one. Anyway. Oh, 
Oh man, that's, that's a little frustrating. Damn it, I'm trying to... Bleh. Just avoid this room. Okay, well... I have health, so let's sit here for a while. You were born wrong. That's, uh, that's quite the insult. What did I even get? I mean... Oh, you know what? I can make Bumbo grow. Fuck. Oh, that's annoying. Should be going for health now, Ugh. but it's not giving me any. I'm just gonna break even, aren't I? It's... Good, good shit. I broke it. Yeah, broke even. There we go. Okay, nice. Excuse me, thank you. All right. I mean, look, if, if nothing else, I've made it here. Okay, so where is this door? There it is. Got him. Okay. <sighs> well, I mean... I should learn how to fight this thing properly, so let's try. No, I've unlocked a different Isaac. Place. Move. Get back into place. No, I can't. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, 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 okay.
This is good. I think I can fight him pretty well. Let's see if I'm ready for this. Fuck. Wait, what hit me? Oh, lava. Shit. Ah, oh, what? Okay, that's two. This one was the hard one. From what I remember, this... Well, okay, so, I got up to this yesterday, but I had the Nord Leaf and technically didn't fight. I stood still. As my minions took the victory. Oh my god. Okay, this, yeah, this is, this is dick. Okay, okay. Alright, phase three. Yeah, I should have done that sooner, but it's okay. Oh, damn it, I forgot about that. It's okay. Minor, minor, minor. Yeah, now it's quicker. Okay, so finding the secret room pretty much got me this if I if I win. Yeah, I got it. Wow. All right, so I beat this legit now. <laughs> Above crack 
cracked open, and a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the top of a hill. Yeah, it's interesting, this ending pattern type of that. Oh, but this music at the end is so fucking eerie. Yeah, eerie music by it. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, there's tainted characters, which now I have tainted Isaac, so... More options, less room? I don't even know what that means. But you know, there's alternate versions of every character, and the way to unlock it is you get the red key. And then you're able to unlock it. I'm not gonna start with these characters yet, but it's good, I got another one, so... I achieved something there, and I beat- I beat the beast by fighting it, not by sitting still for like 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, it's not that bad. If you have damage, it's, it's okay. But, I mean, you can interpret the story as like either Isaac went to live with his dad, or... Isaac did actually die, and like, th at the end, that's him talking to, to God, basically. This game is fun, but real frustrating. It's not too bad. I play it all a lot of roguelikes. This is, I'd say, a medium on the frustration scale. At least for me. Yes. Um, I should go through the door and then come back out. Okay. Cool, I guess. All right. That works. You just want to get OP as a Zazzle. Well, getting OP is a lot harder now. They don't want you to break the game as much anymore. Yeah, Black Bean. Okay. 
So now I just gotta wait for a run where I feel like I'm gonna be confident in finishing that alternate path. This is a good start, though. Breaking games bring you enjoyment. I mean, you can still do it, it's just they changed a bunch of stuff, which makes it harder to do. I don't know. Some of the changes that they've done, I'll agree with, and I'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. That item was kind of semi-broken or OP. Fair enough. But then there are other changes where it's like, I don't know. It kind of goes against why this game got popular in the first place, in my opinion. Which is people sharing the broken runs they used to get, and just some of the stuff is just like, oh, okay. You just don't want that anymore? Uh, this one doesn't really offer any other benefits. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this, uh, this last DLC. But it's still fun. So you say that as you play Elden Ring and have the game break you. Elden Ring's not that bad. You want to experience peak frustration? Play, uh, like, Ghosts and Goblins. I think the Souls games are a little too overhyped in terms of, like, how difficult people perceive them to be. I mean, I've hit myself a couple times, let's see. When you hit the boss and do no damage and 10 hits, and then he hits you once for all your health, you get pissed. This is true, but like... I guess the thing with those games is... That might happen to you initially, but then eventually you do kind of get into a point where you do, Like, that boss isn't going to hit you as much. Or in some cases, you can get to a point where, like, a boss doesn't hit you at all. And those moments are kind of far and apart. Whereas in something like Ghosts and Goblins, the entire fucking stage is just, like... You're getting repeatedly kicked in the crotch. <laughs> just... It's the best way to describe it. Biggest annoyance isn't the difficulty, it's the fact they reuse some of the bosses 20 times. Yeah, I get that. When they start pairing up, it, there's certainly a little level of frustration there, but... I mean, I guess the reason they do it is they want to show that you've made progression, so to speak. It's like someone that may have given you a hard time... It's... I guess you've shown that you've improved when you fight him again. It's just like, oh, huh, maybe this wasn't as bad as I thought it was originally. It's not being lazy in terms of content. It's just, I guess, it's a way to show progression. Sometimes, thematically, it might make sense.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, this is... This is not good. It took some really stupid damage there. Um, hmm. Interesting. I'll buy- oh. I was gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it still. As dumb as this might sound, this, this could turn into something good. I'll decide if I take the risk later, just not now. I think for me, in terms of roguelikes, the ones that have frustrated me the most... Splunky 2 and, uh... I guess Risk of Rain 2, to some extent. Come here. I don't know, maybe because I'm used to this one or I've played it a lot, but then again, I've sunk just about a, as much time in Risk of Rain 2. I feel like this one does... You can get into scenarios where it's just a win, basically. Hmm. Yeah, what is this? This is two. Okay. Ace of Clubs. Well, I have to go down the alternate path anyway. Like, this is the only completion mark I have to do. Okay, that worked. And then do this again. Now we have a Meat Boy. And this is the gamble that I wanted to take. Wait, that hit me for one full- fuck! Oh no wait, it was a- it was a rotten heart. Ugh. Never mind. Alright, well, I tried. Hey Sandy, thank you for the full year, damn. That's... it's kind of freaky. <laughs> it's a whole year. Stupid time. Wait, what is that one? Don't think I've picked that one up before. I'll figure it out. I'll pick it up, maybe. How am I doing? Doing okay, just kicking back. Didn't have anything to do today, so I'm just playing games. I was supposed to hang out with my brothers, but one of them got COVID, so... But they're fine. It's just... In the interest of not spreading it, yeah, just... Decided not to do anything today. One thing I will say in the defense of some of the balance changes is at least they've made some of these items I never would have gotten more useful than they used to be. Oh, that was my bad. Okay, 
Okay. And some free health. Hmm, okay. I'll buy it. If I get more health, I'll come back. This works pretty well with the trinket I have, because if I aim above them, the shot kind of comes back down and backstabs them, so it's pretty good. I mean, on the topic of the deep story of this game, I did just get the ending that kind of wraps it all up. I mean, I basically had to fight <laughs> American evangelism or whatever the fuck it is. Those TV preachers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's open to interpretation, but that's the way that I see it. <laughs> this thing comes out of your TV set and it's like a shadow creature. And as you're fighting it, you just... The music is all eerie and weird, and then... You can hear echoes of, like, someone preaching on TV. Which isn't a thing here, like, that's... The thing that's a bit of a culture shock is, like... Yeah, that's that stuff just doesn't happen here. And the pathway leading to it, like, it's eerie as well. You just hear your parents having an argument, basically. And it's clear, like, yeah, they're just having issues and one of them's overly religious. It's just... But yeah, I guess the creator of this game grew up in that kind of environment, so definitely has a thing or two to say about it. Oh, this is a gamble. One that I shouldn't be doing, but... Let's just see. Okay. Alright, it's it's a normal one. I think I can do this. I just want the case so then it in further increases the odds of getting one later. Ugh, but I may have fucked myself. Nah. Ah, uh, I got greedy. Oh well. I mean, truth be told, I didn't... 
This is the problem with I find with this alternate path is... Okay, there we go. You need something at the start that will give you confidence that you're gonna win. Otherwise, it's very difficult. I don't know, it's just too much on the side of bullet hell enemies. But this is a good sign, like... This item could single-handedly win. Televangel's commercials used to be shown late at night on certain channels, and now it's everywhere. Damn. They just weren't a thing at all, period. <laughs> They're not a thing. I did... Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's wild. The only thing I've seen of it recently is, like, this Twitch stream was watching this dude that was claiming that Starbucks puts semen in their coffee. Like, just... Some pasta that, like, went off the rails, basically. And, you know, you would hope it's fake, but it, it's not. <laughs> I'll say it again, I'm like happy that I'm literally the furthest I can be from that. Unless I live in Antarctica, that's the only way I can be further away. But I'm, I'm not gonna live in Antarctica. Nah, eh, I tried. Let's go see. It's okay. If I need a heal, I'll use a bomb. This is one, okay. There was a vine of a man who thought American soccer was demonic simply because it started with the letter S, Satan. Yeah, I mean... There's a lot of stuff like that. There was a group of people here in Australia that bought the, uh... That song by Eiffel 65, I'm Blue. They thought it was saying, I need a guy. So, like, the dudes in that song... ...were spreading... ...like, people being gay, I guess. And, yeah, they were making a big deal out of it. Which, stupid, right? Like, that's, a, that's about as dumb as it's got in here. Oh no, I listened to a, a, a music video. I think I like penis now. Damn. Yeah, I don't know.
just the the mental gymnastics that one has to jump through to come to that conclusion. My grandma was a bit like that. She's she's very old school. My uncle went to uh, Thailand and he brought back a dragon statue and she uh, like broke a broom on his ass because she thought that uh, he had brought the devil into her house. So yeah, I mean, I've, I've experienced some of that, but you know. Maybe they were just seeking for justification for what was already there, repressed. Yeah, I mean, that's my leading theory with, with that sort of stuff, is like, some of them are secretly in the closet. It's like, I don't know, dude, like... You're, you're looking, you're looking for penis, basically. You're like, going out of your effort to make things phallic and like, dirty by nature. Whereas in... The average person wouldn't look for that stuff. I don't know. No, I guess for me, like, my parents just... Kind of, I, I don't know if they realize that, I guess Australia is pretty secular. And to not be outcasts, I guess just, like, let them decide, or I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Despite the family being, like, pretty religious, we didn't have that upbringing, so... But every now and then I get reminded, like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, okay, someone decides for me left or right. I'd say my, my parents believe in spirituality, but they don't believe in the concept of organized religion. Left? Alright. Nope. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't think right would have been any better, but, you know. I guess the problem is they, they kind of came from, like, a, a background where they... It was, like, Civil War-torn country, and... I guess their experiences weren't great. I've made this way more harder on myself now, because I don't have range. I mean, my thoughts with it is just like, let people believe what they want to believe in, as long as they're respectful and you know. They don't try to make themselves seem like they're higher than anyone else. And yeah, just... Uh, to put it in Australian terms, don't be a cunt. <laughs> that's it. I think that's all there is to it.
Oh no. Put this in the corner. Get rid of those flies. Uh, I hate this. There we go. Wait, America is running rampant with the whole these are my beliefs and you're going to be made to live by them too. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, some of that comes down to... It's... Here's the thing. There's... There's confidence, and then there's arrogance, and it's like, it's a very fine line. And... There's nothing wrong with, like, thinking that you're right, or, like, believing in something, but then... At a certain point, it's, like, arrogant to think that that's it. I've been watching a lot of Nathan for you lately, and it's just... The common theme of that is just people thinking that they're right, or thinking that an idea is great, and in actuality it, it's horrible. And the show is just like, how far are they willing to go before they kind of acknowledge, hmm, this is kind of ridiculous. But those people, a lot of them have the confidence that the idea will work, and they should stick to it. Which is amicable in some regards, but then there's always a tipping point where it's like, Nah dude, you can give, up, give up on that idea. Was the can oh there it is okay um wait I can go through here for free I should do it wait oh damn it I'm not the last right no I'm not so, do this again. I think it resets it every time you go through a room and clear it. Okay, and then through here. I'm definitely not gonna try and get another item out of this. I don't really have... Damn it. Pick it up. Okay, I see, they do fire projectiles, so that one time I did die, it was because a projectile hit me. So it wasn't the ground effect that got me. Wait, oh, bucket. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, I feel like I live on a completely different planet compared to you Americans sometimes, just the kind of stuff that exists over there, it just, it fascinates me and then sometimes it's just, it's so surreal. Oh, I don't have any, fuck, I don't have any bombs. I need bombs to continue, otherwise... Wait, no I don't. No I don't, because I figured that this path is different. Okay. I think I can go in and then I get one more chance. Hmm. 
Ah. Catch one. Okay. This room sucks. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Give me the ball. I mean, just do this right away. Please let him get a hit on. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Get a hit, get a hit. Damage, damage. Okay. I got one. I just need one bomb to continue. But if I can't continue down this path, I have to reset, unfortunately. Because I don't have anything else to do with this character. Just that path. Not that I have the confidence that I'm gonna finish that path anyway. It's just. All oh, right, you're friendly. <sighs> no bomb in the shop. Shit. Okay. Yep. Fuck me. I might have to restart. Yeah. Bomb. Okay, there we go. All right, we're good. Explosive spider on my side now. Yeah, okay. This this run. That's three item rooms where it just hasn't given me anything that contributes to damage or health. Uh, it's very unlikely that I'll get to complete this. Uh, it kind of sucks because. There's no real recourse for it, it's just... You can tell right away. Alright, but I'll try anyway. It's just... Very, very unlikely. Oh, right, I have explosion immunity. Alright, cool. Two of hearts, two of spades, full... Okay. I guess this makes this a little easier, then. Yep. <laughs> I 
don't have the damage. <laughs> this is the problem, is like at this point if you don't have damage, it's just it's so apparent. I guess that's useful. Uh, I'm losing. <laughs> okay, you're down, you're down. I should let that thing hit me a couple times, just to heal. Alright, come on. Yep. 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 Again. Okay, there we go. You can go now. Okay. Hold up. Interesting. Okay, hold up. Because now I can see what... <laughs> so they've even nerfed that, really? Like, you can't take jewel items? Alright, well I consumed the Pokeball, so it did give me some damage up. Unless I got Smite, which is the most broken thing with what I have right now. It's it's not gonna work out. map. <laughs> oh no, I can't walk on that. Into the um, got him. Eternal D6. Oh, yeah, this gambling item. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I should go look for the boss fights. I'm ex no, oh yeah, I'm probably fucked now. <laughs> that kind of seals my fate a little. See ya. Wait, it doesn't take him away? Okay, no, I don't have to worry anyway. Explosion immunity. Oh, whatever. Okay. 
shit. Wait, I don't have to worry. Haha. -ha. Explosion immunity, dickhead. Oh no, they have brimstone in them. Well. Come here. Uh, okay, that works. Uh, I should probably take this just in case. I don't know. This, this is looking like it's gonna be hard. Bad one. Okay, this part is straightforward. The start was a little annoying. Yeah, that run wasn't going great. Oh well, I tried. I mean, the whole thing is luck. It's just, at that point, I need, for that path, I need either damage or something interesting going on with my shots, and that wasn't the case. It was just, I had three item rooms that gave me items that uh, I couldn't carry forward. It's, you only have a choice of one. So my character was pretty light on what it could do. It's just how this game goes. Uh. Oh, fuck off. Not to mention getting obnoxious rooms, that's the other thing. Uh, okay. This isn't too bad. Mm, hang on to that for a little longer. Melting pot. Uh, I'll just take this so I don't die. It's alright, I've gotten stuff today. 
As long as I make some semblance of progression, I'm alright. Okay, ooh, what was in the shop again? Right. Nah, this... Oh, but I can also get this for free. It's just, do I have a trinket on this floor to consume? I don't think there is. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I got it for free anyway. I should pick it up because then it counts as me collecting the item. Even if I won't use it, it's still... Add it to the collection. There we go. It's a heal. Oh, what an annoying room. Holy shit. See if I can get the room. Okay, that should have opened it up if it was there. <sighs> well, this is obnoxious. <laughs> I shoot them and they get knocked into an area I can't shoot them in. Oh my god. I feel like this isn't worth it, but... Okay, got it. Ooh, bad move, bad move, bad move. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, uh, I mean, break even.
Uh, I'll check it out. Dream catcher. I'll buy this since it's cheap. lined up. Good. Uh... Oh wow. Nice. Okay, yeah. I mean... Two health up from one room. Oh, for fuck's sake. check this out because coupon uh shit that's not really gonna help me win should touch the book just mm. so i touch the book but uh, i don't know if that was worth it overall but we'll see okay well Let's see how this goes. Oh no. I fuck these things. <laughs> ah! <laughs> fuck. Uh. Okay, that's cheap, that's fine. It makes it bigger too. Fine, I have to take this. Um, I shouldn't do this just yet. I need one more room. Okay, uh, this will be better. <laughs> Look at this character. Uh.
Uh, they don't have the mirror room yet. Hey, Nick, what's up, dude? I avoided everything except towards the end there. Okay. Just woke up chilling. Cool, cool. Oh. Right, because I cleared a room, technically. I, uh, I finished the beast legitimately just before, so I beat him. Uh, I mean, I could guarantee this just with a simple act of that. Two. Which, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I did kind of get lucky with the circumstances, but... It worked out. It's okay. This is, this is cool. He's empowered, so... I don't mind. You think the base is an easier fight than Mother? Uh, yeah. I think it, can't, it almost kind of has to be. I did also unlock Tainted Isaac. I mean, that was what happened. Was I was trying to do the alternate path, and then it became apparent where I just didn't feel confident it was going to happen. And I found the red key, so I was like, alright, let's just unlock the alternate character. And then I found the hidden room using the red key. And, uh... Yeah, I guess from there... I found Brimstone and, like, this targeting ability. So it was automatic Brimstone, which was pretty cool. It wasn't targeted tears, it was like a demonic version of it. And... I guess I was able to focus on dodging, and I had damage reduction, so it worked. It's pretty neat. I think I figured out how the uh, inverted red rooms work as well, so... I had 1.5 movement speed, and it did felt comfortable, but I think above 1.5 is definitely the way to go. Like, I can't see it doing, doing it easily with below 1.5 movement speed. Which part of him? The treasure room. How to get to it. I was looking at, like, 
the significance of where it was on the map, pretty much, and I think I see it. Yeah, I mean, that was just, uh... Try it. I'll get it. Have I got in the error room yet? No. It was just, uh, it was a spike door room that led to a special treasure room. There are guaranteed error rooms in the red side, so it's good to know where they are to avoid them. I don't, I'm not quite sure if I understand how to avoid them, but I think I understand how to find the, uh, the item room. I think I understand the correlation a little. Well, oh, that's just nice. You can explain it? Uh, I think I can figure it out. And if I don't, oh well. I'm not fast, to be honest. If I'm that curious, I'll just look it up in the wiki. I just need to do the alternate path for Isaac, and that's all the completion marks done. Oh. This is an annoying room. Jeez. Scalpel. I'll take this as padding. Yep. <laughs> uh, th that's not bad. I mean, they're an interesting idea. It kind of reminds me of Minus World, a little. Like, conceptually speaking. a shot. Oh god. What the fuck? I don't think I've fought this one before. Ha! <laughs> Jeez, okay. Oh no, dead end! Okay. Did it just take- no, it didn't. It didn't take away my chance at the end, though. We're okay. You see a lot of people dying on them. What? The red- the inverse rooms, really? 
can't imagine how. They're just normal rooms. The puzzle rooms. Oh, you mean like these rooms where you have to? It's it's not a it's not a combat thing. It's more you just need to get through them. I mean, some of them are alright. Some of them are a bit annoying. Try and get the pills for this. Okay, so now it's a 50 50 chance. No, I mean, I need to get through. I need to get through this. That's why I'm not charging my item because I don't want to be on no health for this part. I know I could do it with, uh, the habit, and, uh... I know I have Temperance, and there's another room that has one, but not yet. I need to do this still. I also wouldn't feel comfortable starting the next floor on low health, just for the sake of getting a pill bag. Like, I don't know, that's, that sounds like a pretty dumb risk. This is just plain Isaac. This... It's just plain old Isaac. The one that I just need this path to get full completion marks on. Is this room? Oh, buttons. It's a bit hard to see with the special effects. Oh my god. Stupid fly. I didn't see it amongst the visual shit. Nah, it's fine. You don't have a problem seeing maybe it's my settings. No, what settings? I'm playing on console. 
The other thing is I am older than you. Like, keep that in mind. And everyone's different with vision. Colorblind? What do you mean? I don't have a problem seeing the color green. What the fuck are you talking about, colorblind? There's also the variable of monitor, like my monitor does do dark colors pretty well. So like black is as dark as it can be. Which is great for watching movies and sometimes in games is a little annoying. The Curse of Darkness is, uh, is pretty, pretty dark, which I guess is the point, right? is pretty good. This item, I feel like never used to do this. It almost feels slightly better than Shears. In some ways. Don't I have profiles on the monitor where I can set up brightness? Probably. It requires effort. And that's something that I'd be turning on and off, like, on the cursing. I don't know. It just seems a lot of effort for something so minor, and it's just like, okay, so I'll I'll die in in a scenario where it's kind of intended to be hard to see. I don't know. There are gamma settings, yeah, but I guess what I'm saying is, like, I think the game looks great right now. It's just... The darkness is as it's intended to be. It's meant to be hard to see. <laughs> it's not meant to be easy to see. If I mess with the gamma settings, it's just like, the rest of the game will look washed out. But then when, you know, that darkness stuff comes in, it'll, it'll be nice. It's, it honestly doesn't bother me. It's just, of course, if I die to it, it's like, yeah, that, that's the reason I died to it. But again, that's by design. That's what it's supposed to do. Like, it's meant to be dark. It's meant to be hard to see. It's meant to hinder you. Like, yeah, it doesn't bother me. I'm aware that there are options, there are things I can do to alleviate it, but I don't want to do it. Simple. be worth going devil deals. We'll see.
Damn, nice. Oh, I thought that looked almost like it was glowing, but it was just the flame that caused that. Oh. Oh. The other thing, of course, is, like, color. They blend in pretty well, these enemies. It's like muted color palette. Sure. Let's just see. If it's guppy pieces, I'll go for it. Otherwise, if it's not, we'll leave it be. Uh, that is interesting, but no. That item can carry if you can quick charge it. I think it would just put me too much in a corner. Oh, fuck. Alright, well. This is an example of one of these just horrendous fucking rooms. Okay, well. Thank you, Gop. Good save. See, like this, for example, it was very hard to see. Oh, okay. It's okay, still alive. <laughs> Technically still alive. I don't think that's gonna happen a third time, but... To lock out three times and not die. That'd be something. The 
There's one more somewhere, isn't there? No, it's spiders, okay. I'm gonna try and get a bonus item out of it. I'll just use um, bombs to beat the boss. I'm not sure what hit me. Fuck's sake. Okay. Oh shit, I got too close. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting my item. Okay, worth. Unbelievably lucky. Almost walked into that. Uh, I should probably see what's in this chest. Even if it's just health, it's, it's fine. Alright, a refund on bombs. Um, sure. Let's just... There we go. Gotta remember this as well. Oh, I didn't even have to come here right now. I could have gone to the other path. Probably a better idea. Ugh, it's not looking great. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> then still I survive. Dude, this thing has, has saved me so many times. <laughs> No way it saves me again. Oh my god, it saved me again. I haven't- I've never seen this go off this often. It's kind of mental. The hermit. Uh, okay, well... In the interest of, like... Oh wow, okay. Which means that one is also a tear up. Path so annoying. There we go. Alright. Um, I think I need to take a dinner break. I progressed anyway, so it's been a good almost four hours. I think I'm just getting tired, <laughs> so I'm gonna go eat something. And then be back later for the evening stream. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, bonus eyes extreme. Alright chat, I'll see some of you later. I'm gonna go eat. Probably go out for a while. But yeah, take care.